this be Adi Buko? Hey, Capitan. Place looks good. Yeah, it needs a little work, but uh, we'll get there. Listen, you need some startup cash, you know, until the insurance settlement on a restaurant comes. Ha! <laughs> insurance. There'll be an Italian president before I see any insurance money. What are you talking about? I thought all that was settled. Join the club. They're putting us through a second arson investigation. What do they think? You're mobbed up? You're working stiff, for Christ's sake. It doesn't make any sense. Who would burn down a perfectly good restaurant? Stupid. Insane. Sorry, Adi. Life goes on, no. I could always be a plumber. No. Only one concept I'm asked. Shit runs down here. Yes, it does. Come on, come in the kitchen. I'll buy you a beer. You know what? Probably not. The fundraiser for Pediatric Hospital. I'm gonna hire Artie and Charmaine to cater it. Come on, it's fundraisers. Since when do we open our house to strangers? Oh, you're right. Let's just move back to Italy. We'll live in a little hill town just like our ancestors. Put a big wall around it. And we'll throw burning oil on all the travelers that knock at the gate. Come on! Poor Charmaine. I tried to find nice things to say about that house. Well, not bad. Just need a little work, that's all. And those two are so broke. That fire. Them church will get off its ass. Do you think it could have been arson? What's the matter with you? Two goombas from the old neighborhood. What? They think they're gonna name the Soprano Wing and the new hospital with the bulletproof glass and the... You know what I think? I think you're just jealous of their money. Me? Yeah. Okay, but explain to me this. The guy who offers us two tickets to the Caribbean out of pure friendship for me, you won't take them because they're tainted. But for some snob-ass party, it's all right. I take his money to clean his toilets. First of all, Arthur, this is a paying job and not some cruise. And why do you always have to exaggerate? You're not cleaning his toilets. You're a chef. Good. So you don't mind that he uh, fronts me some money for a new place because he offered. Look at that face. Oh, God, Arthur, don't tell me that you took money from Tony Soprano. How is it different? How is it different? I'm a chef. I need a place to cook. How? I'm giving Camilla my support. That's how. And, and, and it's for a very reputable cause. But to have that man as a partner, trust me, Artie, that would be insane. It, it would mean the end of everything. At least he made the gesture. Name me another fucking person who offered us anything except the surprise. You want to watch what you're doing? You're squeezing the quail? Charmaine. Sure. Charmaine. I can't get used to having all these strangers in my house. Why'd you invite them? Try one of these. You're a fucking great cook, buddy. I cook like this. <sighs> Reminds me of what I lost. Having my restaurant ripped from me. I can't tell you. It was like losing a limb. Sometimes I lay All right, in bed. Start to Z. Start to Z. Okay, enough already. Don't you forget about the past. Look to the future, okay? I am sick of hearing about your fucking restaurant. Shut up about it, you depressing fucking jerk! What the fuck do you know about it? You motherfucker. Uh -huh. You fucking jerk. Come on. Look at that. <laughs> See what you get when you come? <laughs>